Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. How is Cancer coming to the reading? How is Cancer coming? New love. All right, so you get new love, honey. All right, so let's see. All right, let's clarify this new love. Okay, um, maybe with a younger, a younger female, a beauty queen, someone who is, um, you know, maybe she is a, she has a, a large following platform. Um, things are going well for right now. Let's see. Let's see how your person is coming to the reading. Cancer, how is Cancer's person coming to the reading? How is Cancer's person coming to the reading? How is Cancer's person coming to the reading? Mature woman and passion. So you got a, an older woman who is passionate about maybe your connection, about rekindling, about coming back together. Um, but you've got a new love, a, a new lease on life. You also could be, this just could be you, Cancer, to where you have a new lease on life here. Um, maybe you have gotten a makeover or done something different with yourself, with your body, and you're just on your platform getting all kinds of attention and you're not concerned about, you know, um, you're not concerned about anyone else outside of yourself here. Your person is... Um, this could be same sex also here. Um, there could be some older woman, uh, maybe some wise woman here who's passionate about maybe the connection here. What's the energy between the two, between cancer and their person? What's the energy between, okay, past love. Yeah, so there's a breakup, a breakdown in this relationship and it's a past love now. Um, somebody could be showing back up, okay? Somebody who that you don't, maybe you don't think about them in the best light here with the dark male, or they have some dark uh, energy about them, or they have, they've done things, or you've done things, or the relationship could even be toxic or drama filled. Um, let's see what's going on for you, what's happening for you. What is the future energy for cancer? Future energy, okay. A, a new relationship, or maybe even a new house. This relationship could be solid, stable. It could go the distance here. Um, something could be arriving for you. This this relationship, yeah. What is the future energy? Imprisonment. Interesting. Maybe some of you are gonna feel stuck in this relationship, or you feel stuck maybe on thinking about this other person or past person. A thief. Yeah, um, you could be in a relationship with somebody who could have other options or opportunity and they could be kind of um, thinking about other people or maybe even engaging with other people, um, keeping something from you, hiding something from you, masquerading like something isn't when it is. They could be stealing from you or trying to steal your time or your energy, or your essence, or this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be trying hard to get away with something. What is this? The main male. Um, and sudden wealth. All of a sudden. Change. I don't know. Um, this is interesting. Okay. So let me see if I can get some clarity on this. What's the the um, future energy? It looks like a relationship comes in for you. And then you feel. St oh, so. A relationship can come in for you and now you feel like it's too real, it's too stuck. And now you start to see other people or you kind of start to self-sabotage or destruct so that you can then get out of there, move away from with the change card. All of a sudden you want change, sudden change. Yeah. Yeah, you, you go from being in love and new love to text me, don't call me, you know. Um, Maybe you might be saying money is holding you back or you, you might make excuses. 
what is this about? This is somebody who, yeah, you start to maybe talk to other people or this is somebody that you're dealing with. This is how they act. When things get too close, too intimate, too real, this is what they do. They run. They, someone's saying it just costs too much. Now, it could literally be money or it could just be the investment of being in a commitment, the investment of actually being serious, honest, upright. Somebody doesn't want to do it. It costs them too much. Uh, they want to be in carefree connections. What is this about? Yeah, someone could now be putting parameters on the relationship. I can't talk after 8 p.m. Sorry. And what is this about? Wow, I am miserable in this house. And we had house show up. And sometimes we know that house can mean relationship. So somebody could be just, you know, now they could be miserable. They went from happy to now they're miserable. Maybe by March, somebody will be like, this is you know, an unhealthy relationship. It, it was healthy, now it's unhealthy. Somebody could go out and have drunk sex. This is a mess. Um, so this is somebody who cannot maintain a relationship. Um, be careful, be weary of dealing with somebody like this where, it, you know, they love the newness of a connection, the newness of a relationship. And then when that wears off, it's just like, yeah, somebody likes the newness, the weekend type of getaway. They like, or they like it to be where it's not full on, it's part time, okay? Somebody doesn't want, you know, um, yeah, a full on relationship commitment, okay? Um, you could be dealing with jealous friends also. Somebody can't get over you or you can't get over someone. Let me see, what is this about? What is going on with cancer? This wanted to come out, caught cheating, okay? Um, yeah, somebody could have a sexual addiction here to where they have to have several people, okay? What is What else is going on? And we saw that earlier, the same-sex connection. Um, what's going on with cancer? Promiscuity, yeah, somebody just cannot stay still okay they once it the newness wears off somebody's lazy as f also and maybe that's why somebody is just maybe disinterested what's going on here with cancer yeah not physically attracted to my partner so someone could be losing a house yeah and we know that house could mean you know relationship i hope that you're not losing your home if you are my condolences but somebody could be saying, you know, I want to let this relationship go now. Someone could be dealing with maybe an intellectual and an idiot, okay? Um, very interesting. Interesting reading. Let's see what cancer should be focused on moving forward. Where should cancer be focused on moving forward? Keep in mind that you might be dealing with somebody who's just not... Um, yeah, welcoming the new, okay? Welcome the new. It's newness here for you. It is the new year also. Family changes. Things may change. Maybe someone will get a divorce, separate, move in, move out, have a baby. Um, you could be getting baby news. Sobriety should be focused on your sobriety, your emotional sobriety, and your mental you should be focused on a windfall. Maybe good luck, money, energy coming into you, body changes, maybe working out, um, finding some hobbies that you need to engage in, all right? Maybe even monetizing a hobby. Back to emotions also. Focus on your emotional health also. Emotions showing up. So this is what you should be focused on. Um, this is what is best for you. Somebody is just not serious about connections. They're as serious as long as it is fun, it is carefree. As soon as it gets a little too real, somebody is not, somebody will leave it. They will, yeah, this could be some man also. Could be a cancer man. When it gets too serious, they, they're out, okay? Um, there could be some family announcement or, yeah, could be some unexpected family announcement. And then somebody's moving away, yeah, moving away. Um, 
Yeah. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Be wary of people who don't want to make long-term investment in you with you. Know that up front so you can know what you're dealing with if you want to deal with it. All links are below. If you want to get your own personal reading like this one, go over to the website. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. You can um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.